we've driven about five miles from the campsite to the Sherwood Forest Visitor Centre and we're parked in the RSPB car park. It's free if you're an RSPB member but we've paid a fiver. Yeah, five pound and we're parked just there behind us. It's quite a big car park. Yeah, it's a big it? car park. You're sort of in the next uh, next village really. So it's too far to walk, it's about five miles. So or four and a bit by uh, footpath. So um, we brought the van and then at least we're We've got the comfort of the van if we need it during the day. So we're going to go for a walk, see if we can find a visitor centre. And the old oak tree. And an old oak tree, yes. 800 yeah. to 1,000 years old. We'll see you in a moment. So it looks like we've got across the road here. There's a pedestrian crossing. There's a notice board over there to the village trail. And I see there's a cricket club just over behind the trees there. Very English. <laughs> now we're going down this little lane. Sue's found a friend. Not allowed to touch him, no. Uh, there's some lovely shops along here. Yeah. Uh, we're just looking at uh, a, cafe. a little cafe. Uh, there's a little craft shop down here. Um, not sure if the cafe's doggy friendly, we didn't get that far, but um, some lovely little places here. We're just uh, going to go across to the, the visitor centre, which is over here. We're going to go and have a look. We might have to go in one at a time. Not sure, but uh, yeah. So there's another car park here, but the main car park is where we were, just the other side of the road. Uh, no doubt this gets very busy here. There's some beautiful little trees here. Look, but this is what I come over to see. The uh, Robin Hood. Bit of information on these boards, so I'm just going to show you the boards, and you can freeze the screen if you want to read it. Here. Now there's an opportunity. I won't stick my head through though. <laughs> you can put your uh, put your garb put your, on. You can dress up and do it. Like yeah. So let's have a quick look at this map. Um, it shows us roughly where we are. And some information. let you freeze the screen to read that and then uh, we, we've seen a sign here for the Major Oak so uh, looks like there's a private footpath there it's, uh, oh, that's lovely isn't it yeah. so lots of places to sit and we're going to take the footpath lovely seating area down here and the cafe I think we'll probably call in there on the way back Sue's so keen to find the um, the old oak tree so we'll carry on down the path and see if we can find it what a beautiful day for a walk 
Yeah, like a totem pole, isn't it? And here it's uh, your favourite look. Showing, showing the signs. Yeah, my favourite little badger on there. So clear room, so badger trails. territory. There's one and a half miles for the major oak trail. I quite like to do that one. Greenwood Trail, Wildwood Trail, which is two and a half hours. So that looks quite a good one, doesn't it? Just one and a half miles. Yeah. Shall we do the major oak tra trail yeah. then? And that's the blue yeah, post. Yeah, to see the major oak. So we'll follow the blue post and then we'll come back to the cafe, which is over here in the sun. There's a cricket club that we've walked past. And uh, there's a children's playground over here. Lots of area for picnic and oh, running your dog. Mouse on it. That's obviously something for the children to do, isn't it? I reckon it? that's a, yeah, that's, that's a, cute. a little game for the children to play, following the pictures. So we'll carry on down this path on the blue trail, yep. So we're now entering Sherwood Forest. Long ago this forest was much bigger than it is today. It covered over 100,000 acres of heath and woodland. This was a royal hunting forest. Anyone caught killing animals or taking wood where the king's permission was cruelly punished. The Great North Road ran through the forest. This was a very important road which went from London to York. Sherwood Forest had a reputation for being the home of robbers. This was a dangerous road to travel on. Look mm. for faces in the trees. Are they outlaws lying in wait for unsuspecting travellers or spirits of the forest? Or are they simply beautiful spiral patterns in ancient bark? That sounds intriguing. This be good and there should be a lot of birds. Yeah, there's another picture on a post up here. Oh yeah. I know Sue wants to follow is the that, pictures. Is that a squirrel? We're all children at heart. Looks like a snail oh, to a me. Snail. The girls would love this, wouldn't they? The girls would love it. Yeah. On the map. You can see that shining in the sunshine here. Huge area. Some lovely benches along the path here. Yeah. Yeah. Got a badger. Indeed. Brand on the bat. oak trees. These are all ancient oak trees. Wherever you look. Yeah, some of these are younger trees but some of them are aged. And there's a notice board over here. Again, plenty of notice boards on these trails. And there's all the different. Yeah, and we're going to go on the major oak trail, which is this way. Now we're just approaching the the oldest oak. And it's the one where the lady has just taken some photographs. Let's have a little look at the board. Yeah. So there we are. Looks like there's been some uh, work to prop up some of those branches. Coming a bit closer. You can see why they'd want to hide in those little hidey holes in the bark. Look. There is, isn't there? Apparently, Robin yeah. Hood used to meet here with his merry men. Really? Yeah. Well, I wonder if they propped the trees up in, in those days. No, not, not Those old branches look like they could easily ago. fall, don't they? Yeah. It's 800 to 1,000 years old. 
a hundred to a thousand years. Wow. Yeah, seen some changes yeah. in time. That's very Harry Potterish that bark. <laughs> you and your Harry Potter. Trunks, I'm going to go over to the board over there and just take a picture. Okay. Gosh, that's even got. That says ancient oak tree can be home to around 300 different species. This is more species than any other type of tree in the UK. In the major oak, we have spotted nesting jackdaws, tree creepers, nuthatches, wood pigeons, blue tits, honeybees, purple hair streaked butterflies, and roosted bats. Carry on down the uh, blue trail. What got there, Sue? Chocolate brownie. It's <laughs> a gluten free gluten chocolate. Free. And I've got a, a, Very a chocolate macaroon in this little bag here that I'm nibbling at. Gluten free. No, gluten free, yeah, we've both got gluten free today. You've got um, a cappuccino. A cappuccino. And I've got my usual green tea and a little out outdoor pot here, all environmentally friendly apart from the plastic top. But, uh, I've got a song on my brain. Have you? Mm -hmm. Have you got an earworm? Mm hmm. What's that then? Robin Hood, Robin Hood, riding through the glen. Yeah. Robin Hood, Robin Hood, with his merry men. Yeah. He stole from the rich to give to the poor. Mm -hmm. Robin Hood, Robin Hood, Robin Hood. <laughs> That's all three verses, is it? I don't know where that came from. <laughs> no, <don't worry. laughs> We're going to head back to the van. Mm. We'll see you later on the mm. next video. Say goodbye. Yes, Bye. Bye.